Over the past five years, I've had the privilege of getting to meet and design some rooms for some pretty special YouTubers. People like Michael Buckley from What the Buck, Bethany Moda from Mac Marvio 7, Crazy Ray Ray, Beautylicious Insider, May Baby Tumblr, and Arturo Trejo. But for me, there's one that stands out like a diamond among the stars. Two years ago, I was contacted by Talia Joy 18. She was in the hospital at the time. We Skyped and she asked me to design a bedroom that she desperately longed to go home to. This 13-year-old beauty guru made a lasting impression on me. Six years of chemotherapy had left her tiny and bald, yet she had more energy and personality than anyone I'd ever met. Grayson and I flew out to Orlando and installed Talia's dream room, attending to every last detail of Talia's design wishes. From the first hug, I was inspired by this four-foot dynamo. She packed more punch into every minute of her days than most of us do in a lifetime. I think that's why it's important to me that it's perfect. Because I don't know how long she'll be there, but I hope it's a long time. What none of us knew at the time was Talia would live in her new room for less than six months. By March of the next year, Talia was back in the hospital where she would live out the last three months of her life. She longed to return to her electric blue bedroom where she could once again get dressed up, put on her makeup, and make more YouTube videos for the millions who followed her. Talia had a passion for life and a will to live, but she wasn't afraid to die. She was determined to pass on the joy she found by just keep swimming. Talia's mantra, makeup is my wig, took flight as makeup companies like CoverGirl and MAC showered her with more product than she could ever dream of. Ellen DeGeneres had her on her show and made her an honorary cover girl. Talia's last request of me was to design a memorial bedroom, complete with her signature colors and her bold personality that could serve as a tribute to her life, her love, and her passion for makeup. The room would reside in the base camp facility in Orlando, Florida. I promised to see the project through, and Furniture Land South joined me in the project, offering to provide whatever furniture we need. I love that one straight away. <sighs> oh. Oh. Tell you this. I knew she would. Gosh. This is totally her. I'm not kidding you. Wow. This is so cool. I've never <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. It is so cute. What is this besides my poodle? <laughs> July 16th, 2013, the world was rocked by the passing of Talia Castellino. But her legacy lives on as hundreds of young girls who fight childhood cancer now have a special place, Talia's room at Base Camp, Florida. There, they experience a taste of the joy that Talia Joy 18 found in escaping the pain of cancer when applying makeup as their room. If you've been touched by Talia Castellino's fight for life, consider giving a donation at www.taliaslegacy.org.
Rebecca Robeson, interior designer, businesswoman, and mother. Join me as I take you through my projects, my life, and what keeps me driven to design. Were you able to figure it out last week? I gave you some clues. We're going to Las Vegas. So we land in Vegas, get off the plane. First thing, we run into Steve Aoki. You know, the cake guy. We're an interior design firm, so oh, yeah? we're just here in town for a project that we're going to be doing. Cool. Well, so, yeah. I'm, I'm looking into a house right now. I'm looking Seriously? for an interior designer. You're kidding. No. <laughs> I don't ask you to do much for me, do I? Well, okay, other than subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up. You know, the usual stuff. Would you guys help me with something? Would you go to Steve Aoki's Twitter and log in and blow it up? I want all of my subscribers to go there and say, Steve Aoki, you should have Rebecca Robeson design your home and put a link to this video, all right? We probably have to wear protective clothing. Well, we eventually made it out of the terminal and met up with our new client, Denise. Ah, oh, Vegas. With its Disneyland-like top coating, its entertainment and attractions that lay waste to any NC-17 rating. They recreate monuments, national monuments and historic places all around the world, but it's all fake. And it's in the middle of the desert. Oh, the surreality. I've worked at you know, many great casino companies, including Trump Resorts, Tropicana, and now I work at Foxwoods Resorts. I live here with my wife, who I've been married to for 21 years. My name is Denise Putera. Uh, we moved out here in Vegas about seven years ago. I have three children. I have a, a girl and two boys. What I love is the kitchen that we have now. It's absolutely beautiful. What do I dislike? Um, there's a lot of brown. There's brown on the ceiling, brown everywhere. We realized we need to bring somebody in. I stopped at the different paint swatches I put on every single wall and every single room. I gave up. Scott and Denise have a 8,000 square foot home with five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a media room, absolutely gorgeous living room, dining room, everything, including an outdoor pool house and a beautiful pool. Their grounds are gorgeous. Really, this is one of the nicer homes that we've walked in and called it the before pictures. I have two seats from Fenwick Park. Like actual seats that could be used somewhere if you ever want. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's why you have to collect all your stuff. They're from the World Series. They're seats from the World Series and they're authentic seats. Great, great idea. Adding things that represent your interests, even if they're unconventional, is a good way to bring character into your space. Well, maybe I should take a look at those seats before promoting such an idea. Grayson is going to build this whole model from the ground up. By the time we leave, this thing is going to be created. I'd say the biggest challenge is the bigness of it. The bigness of the rooms, the bigness of the house, the bigness of the hallway, the bigness of the ceilings. It can kind of be a big project, and it can be a big problem. That's what we're going to tackle. Here's what we're going to do. You, do you have a storage? No, 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 no. <laughs> Get one. 